Hello, everyone. My guest today is Jorge Pastine. He is a seasoned executive with broad experience in all aspects related to business development, turnarounds, fundraising, corporate finance, and strategic advisory. He's got deep experience in M&A, private equity, venture capital, debt restructuring, and Chapter 11 processes. Because of this, he's now in a P2P business called Hipotecalo, which plays in the real estate space. It's going to be our focus today. Jorge, you ready to take us to the top? Yeah. Okay. So what is Hipotecalo and how do you make money? Basically, Hipotecalo is uh, an internet platform that permits uh, investors and uh, users of loans uh, to finance uh, their needs. Mm-hmm. We uh, basically uh, make possible that both of them uh, complete their needs. So let's run through an example here. I'm a real estate investor. I'm buying a house for $500,000. How would I use your platform? Basically, that we do is uh, on one hand, we have uh, credit providers that are the investors that you mentioned. They they have uh, investment needs. Uh, on the other on the other side, we have the uh, the people that need uh, uh, the loans. So we evaluate the the quality of the the, the potential uh, borrowers. So we uh, um, basically obtain the uh, the uh, financing for them, uh, and we provide the. Uh, credit qualification to to the uh, investors. So this is a marketplace model. You have investors that want to deploy capital. You have borrowers that want money. You're rating the borrowers. You're connecting them with investors. How much, uh, how much, how much deal flow went through your platform over the past 12 months? We started uh, two years ago. Well, basically, uh, at the beginning, we reached uh, uh, $5 million um, Portfolio and now we are uh, 15 million dollars in our second year, and we expect that uh, 25 millions for the start. So just to be clear, in 2019 you did 5 million through your platform, and in the past 12 months you've done 1.5, 15 million through the platform. Yeah. And how do you make money? Basically, we uh, charge. Uh, we have two sources of money. Basically, uh, uh, we charge a fee. Uh, which is the difference between the uh, interest rate that we charge to the uh, borrowers and uh, the, the investors uh, ask. Mm-hmm. What, that what yield do you optimize for? Basically, uh, the, uh, in, the, the average uh, interest rate that we charge to the lenders is something around 13%. And the uh, cost of fund is something around of seven percent. Seven percent. Okay. So, just to be clear, you have investors that sign up for your platform, so you can help them deploy money. You have borrowers that sign up for your platform that pay a thirteen percent interest rate. The spread between seven percent and thirteen percent, so six percent, is how you make money. Yeah. Okay. Um, of course, that we cover uh, our cost, which is the notary costs and whatever. Mm-hmm. Now, on 15 million in transaction volume through your platform uh, and a 6% interest rate that you're making, that means you did about $900,000 over the past 12 months? Yeah. Congrats. Yeah, you're almost at the million dollar mark. That's exciting. How does it feel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's exciting, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> now, has this always been your model? You launched in 2018. Did you always just charge a spread? Yeah, basically. Uh um we uh because of that purpose we we build uh, uh, an efficient uh structure which use uh, uh financial trust to build uh, the uh, the uh, the financial structure mm-hmm. so that and permits to us that uh, to make uh, free of taxes almost free of taxes and break down the 15 million in deals that went through your platform this year. How many deals was that? Um, the average uh, is something around uh, 40, 40 clients. $40,000? $40, yeah. Okay, so you had about 375 deals through your platform this year. Okay, and, and are those each individual customers, or can one customer, can one borrower use you over and over and over again? 
No, no, no. That, that, that different because that the uh, basically uh, the people used uh, the funds for a specific uh, uh, target. Suppose the case we have uh, agricultures that that uh, we make rollovers in that kind every year. Uh, not uh, continuously, but uh, every year we 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 have made a, a rollover with some of them because they finance the uh, the campaign, the mm -hmm. difference campaign every year. But just to be clear, when a borrower, when one of these 375 borrowers uses your platform, are they borrowing money for their primary residence, or are they buying multiple properties for investment purposes? Uh, different because uh, basically uh, the. Uh, the residential mortgages uh, sector is financed uh, by the banks, and we focus on other. Uh, we detected another uh, niche of, of uh, for for our case, mm -hmm. which is the the people is not bankerized usual because the, that's that's the case of the agriculture, for example. Mm -hmm. For example, interesting. Which, uh, and and Jorge, have you? Have you raised any balance sheet capital yourself to lend out directly to consumers, or are you just sitting in the middle right now and connecting investors and buyers? For the uh, financing of the uh, next year, we are doing that. Yes. You're, you're raising so the, a fund. Uh, yeah, yeah, because that uh, we we have changed our model from P two P to to B two P because that is more efficient. Because when we uh, that we have experience that uh, we are uh, we have a, a, an ability to uh, find people that needs money, but in the meantime that we we found the, uh, the investors, uh, maybe we lose yep. uh, part of our uh, generation. How much capital are you looking to raise next year for your fund to lend out to borrowers? Fifteen million dollars. Okay, fifteen million, and what? What do you think you have to pay on that fifteen million? Is there is it an interest rate under seven percent? Uh, yes, or maybe lesser. It depends on the case that uh, the the structure that we use because that that we are uh, thinking is uh, basically to uh, sell part of our portfolio, and uh, that that will. Uh, permit us to uh, implement a, a, a secure structure so, so that just, maybe we can reduce our interest rate. So just to be clear, in order to resell your paper, you have to own the paper. I thought that the, lend, the, that the investors on your platform actually held the paper. Are you actually holding the paper right now? <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. No, basically that we will, we will make an initial infusion of capital and we will make a rollover on, on that i don't understand how that works let me explain you uh basically uh we'll we will inject some uh capital uh the partners will inject some capital in order to fund an initial uh portfolio of five million dollars okay so we will sell that and we will use I on see. a rollover basis that yeah I yeah, see. That's and then you'll re recycle the capital. Yeah, that's correct. Yep. How long How long are these loans to borrowers? How long do you have to wait to get your capital back? It depends on the case because uh, it depends on the sector. Because if uh, the uh, borrowers are financing the, uh, uh, if they are agricultures, they, they are short term because they finance a campaign. How short term? Um, um, something around um, uh, six months or lesser. Okay. Duration. Mm -hmm. um, so these are really like construction loans. Then they're not thirty-year amortizing home traditional home no, mortgages. No, that's 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 the target of the banks. Mm. That's the target of the banks. Got it. So you're doing short-term construction loans, that's really? Yeah. We are not competing with the bank. I see. Okay. And now, have you built this company bootstrapped or have you raised capital? No, uh, bootstrapped. That's okay. Congratulations. That's great. <laughs> and so, I guess that means you're operating right at about break even right now? Yeah. Okay. That's good too. Yeah. And um, how many people are on the team today? Uh, we are five. Five, five, five people. people. How many engineers? Yeah. One, only one. One. What do the other four do? The other one, 
yeah, the other ones are uh, business ones. I see. Okay, very interesting. So, do you see a path here to upselling some sort of software product to these 375 borrowers that used you over the past 12 months? Is there a software play here, or is it really just going to be a yield and a spread business on the funds you raise and what you versus what you lend at? Well, by accident, we enter on the uh, on the uh, software side because that trying to solve uh, one of our uh, problems that we face that uh, we build a, a partnership with uh, two developers and uh, that we, we did is uh, giving them our experience to uh, build a, a tool that they will be able to sell to other people similar to us, mm-hmm. not, not the same, but similar to us. And they were really successful and I, we didn't see the. Did do you the, own the do you own the IP though, or did they own it? No, no, no. They own it. We lose that that deal. Oh, that's so a big that mistake. That was the reason. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was the reason because we we rethink our strategy, not not for Ipoticalo, and trying to think that the uh, we have the ability to uh, find solutions. Uh, for every sector, and we can build something in in other sectors, and that's what that was that we did. That's great. And we yeah. are in the middle of several projects uh, using the experience, the bad experience. Last so last that. question here before we wrap up with the famous five. Um, what does it cost you to find a new borrower that does a forty thousand dollar deal? What's your CAC? So basically. Uh, and this is the cost of uh, of the uh, our CEO, um, our CEO um, activity. Yeah, because uh, that's the most. Um, I believe that is that's the most uh, easy part of the of the game. Okay, Jorge, let's wrap up here. Hey, yeah, <laughs> let's uh, let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, favorite business book. Sorry, what's your favorite business book? Oh, the corruption of the capitalism. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Uh, basically, uh, in Bezos. Number three, what's your favorite online tool for building Hippotecalo? Uh, I don't know. None? No. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Uh, uh, no more than six. Six. And what's your situation? Married, single, kids? Married, uh, and father of four. Four kids. Wow. And how old are you? Yeah. 57. 57. Last question. What's yeah. something you wish you knew when you were 20? Uh, basically, uh, oh, everything about technology. <laughs> Guys, there you have it, hippotecalo.com. That's H-I-P-O-T-E-C-A-L-O.com. They launched two years ago. They did $5 million of lending to home borrowers, basically construction loans. They matched them with investors. They returned to investors 7%. They charged the borrowers a higher rate of 13%. They make a 6% spread. So they did 300,000 last year. This year, they passed 15 million in deals to their platform, netting the company about $900,000 in gross revenue. Next year, well, they're going to go raise their own fund and take more margin for themselves. Jorge, thanks for taking us to the top. Thank you. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live, and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it, and the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember, these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS 
founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com forward slash slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right, I'll be in the comments. See ya.